I'm sure there's more than a few people out there that have always wondered what it'd be like to play through an MMORPG like a Librarian or a Lore Keeper. In Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, there's going to be a feature that allows you to do something like this, which goes by the codename Keeper. Now being a Keeper will be more than just reading through old texts and transcripts from a time long gone. Picture being a Keeper like if you were planning to be a part of the first expedition to enter a temple that was discovered in the remote part of the world. All you know is that there are rumors of booby traps surrounding and being within it, but you also have somebody on your team that has studied the history and everything there is to know about said temple. Having somebody like that could be very crucial for multiple reasons, including survival, and this is part of the experience that Keepers aim to provide. In Pantheon, there's a mechanic in place that would allow you to identify more about your surroundings than you would normally see. Perception is a multi-purpose system that rewards you not only with details on your environment and the lore of the world as you explore, but also clues to potential questlines and secrets. Perception is also planned to be tied to identifying enemy traits and dispositions, and a keeper is capable of doing all of these but on a much higher level. A keeper is someone who's developed their perception skills to a level that would be considered expert or master. This can make them a huge asset to any party by helping in gaining access to hidden passages to engage with additional lore, or even things that act as shortcuts to go from one part of a dungeon to another. When this system is fully implemented, we might also see them being able to identify details such as enemy footprints, detect treasure, activate special devices in the world, spawn NPCs or bosses with their own separate itemization, reveal hidden named enemies who pose as regular ones, and maybe even crucial events in the game world that need to be triggered by a keeper specifically. Perception is supposed to be about certain aspects of content that can only be accessed if you have a keeper with the appropriate skills, flags, or all the other components that go into the perception system to gain this access. But being a keeper doesn't come without a cost. Some of you might remember that a few weeks ago we talked a little bit about what is known as a limited action set in Pantheon. This refers to the action bar our characters will be using. It means that in contrast to regular MMOs, our characters will not have three or four full bars of abilities and skills. Instead, we'll be limited to about one or two, and the Keeper playstyle does place an even further limitation on this. So far, we've been told that there are two skills that play directly into the Keeper system, Insight and Investigate. It was previously stated that Insight is planned to be a passive skill while Investigate is an active one that would actually go on your bar. This means that both individually and from a party standpoint, this leaves your Keeper with less power on the combat side which can also extend to less mitigation, less healing, crowd control, etc. They become more of a liability in these encounters, but they also trade that for being able to offer the group different bonuses like bypassing different encounters, exploiting weaknesses in the enemy, or using the environment to their advantage. So how would one become a Keeper? Well, your introduction to the Perception system would be you automatically starting out as a fledgling one. You'll find mentors throughout the game that are capable of teaching you how to hone your skills within this system, and you'll also gain something known as a Keeper's Codex. This is the tome of knowledge where we keep all of our clues, triggers, and information we come across during our Perception journey. Keepers may also get access to something known as storylines. This is something that was showcased in the month of May 2020, and in this video we get to see how the system works in relation to this Wild Heart Spriggan. You'll notice that as the character approaches the Spriggan, it actually speaks. But more than that, it appears to be an enemy that we could attack if we wanted to. But as a Keeper, you're able to reveal much more than you might see with the naked eye. You can reveal hidden quest lines, more information about the lore, things we talked about. And that's what the perception system is all about. There should always be more mystery. More that can be discovered than we can initially find in the span of a day, week, or year's time. The fact that you could potentially find out or discover firsthand that years after you first installed a game, there was still something the vast majority or entirety of players didn't know about, that's an incredible feeling. I think all of us have secretly wanted that type of game where you can randomly come across something special that lets you stand out from all the rest. I remember stories about how in Mortal Online there was a secret NPC you could come across that could teach you things like necromancy. There was a story a few years back about how a player had finally reached level 999 in Tibia and was able to cross a secret threshold, although admittedly the realization left much to be desired, but I'm sure you get the idea. But there were plenty of other examples across games like EverQuest. Not too long ago, I read about how there was an unkillable dragon in the game back in 2003 that nearly 200 players came together to try and defeat and actually discovered they could. This type of thing would be a lot harder to hide in this day and age, with how we have data mining, guide websites, us YouTubers and streamers, etc. But even attempting to offer a special experience that takes you off the beaten path is something I believe all modern MMORPGs should start to adopt. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this will take shape in Pantheon. But until the next topic, have a wonderful night or day folks, and farewell.